Okay, and let's just take that. Oh! We're doing it, Peter. We're starting to believe. <laughs> Oh, there's no lights, and I'm flying at night. Okay, this is just... this is death. Hello and welcome back to another episode of No Suit Survival. Thank you for tuning in to episode 9. Alright, so let's look at a few things that we should uh, should start getting done today. Because last time I promised we were going to go get more cobalt, and I think we'll we'll stick with that plan. We'll take out our new vehicle for, for some fun. But I've also been reading a lot of the comments, and I think the big thing that everyone is waiting for is more lightning rods. So I'm going to just litter the base with new towers with welders and a decoy at the top and uh and i think what i'll do is i'll also put some wind turbines on the sides of those uh so that way we can just get some extra power because if we're building a large tower anyway we might as well put some some wind turbines up there in addition to that i'm going to put a medical room outside which was another suggestion that i got just to save me a little bit of time i think i'm going to put a hinge on my welder ship and all of this like the order in which we do these things is all subject to change but I want to put a hinge on the welder. That makes a whole lot of sense, and I don't know why I haven't done that before. And then it was recommended to me that I should just auto queue decoys, but I don't know how to do that. But when we get to that, I will figure that out. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go get more cobalt. Let's uh, let's go flying. Alrighty, let's take this thing out. Well, it was that way. You know, every once in a while, it's just kind of nice to get away from the base. You know, get a little bit more perspective on the whole planet. I would go investigate that crash over there, but uh, I just fixed this ship. So maybe I'll do it with something that's a little less precious to me. Okay, so let's, let's try out these uh, air brakes, see how they do. Whoa! Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, that wasn't. Uh, did I lose anything? Let's see. Nope. Oh, yes. We lost... Oh, yeah, we lost a few things. Apparently, I only had one block. So, try to use it there. Okay. <laughs> okay let's, let's head on down. All right. Alright, looks like we got a good amount. Let's uh let's head on home. Wow, how quickly that just turned. <laughs> uh hope we can make it back to the house before the storm hits too bad. Let's see if we can be a little bit better on our landing this time. I, I just I'm worried I'm gonna hit the mine. Oh, oh, go over it. And ooh, that was a, oh what? No 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 no. Where? Oh, we have a lookout tower that's pretty close. I don't think that it's actually going to be able to get over here. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think my one turret is gonna be able to take out a super gremlin. So that's not great. Uh, okay. Well, okay. We got we got the cobalt done. Let's start working on these lightning rods. I think I'm actually gonna make it a little bit of an adjustment so they're not just gonna be lightning rods. They're gonna be big old towers of awesomeness. And by that I mean 
these things are gonna have turbines, they're gonna have guns, and decoy, and welder. Yeah, so, okay. Let's, uh, let's load all that crap up. We're gonna need a lot of conveyors. Actually, I think, you know what I think we're gonna do is, uh, I, know if, I don't know if I can describe this well enough, but hopefully I can do the description and then I can kind of show you what I'm thinking. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a decoy at the very top with a welder underneath it. And then I'm gonna have four off branches that go like out and then up as well. And I'll put turrets on those four quadrants. Off the sides of those turrets, I can also have wind turbines. And then I'll probably build out the tower itself to be a little bit beefier. Cause I think with all of that stuff on the top, it's probably not gonna look really cool. And I definitely want it to look good too. So yeah, I think that's probably what we're gonna do. And then we might set up a second one close to the that mine that we have over there. And we'll just we'll see how this first one goes. So let's uh, let's give it a go. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do before I uh, before I mess this up? I'm also going to put a an antenna and a a remote control block on this thing. So that way, if it gets stuck, I can go back and I can bring it down. There we go. And I need to put a ladder on the side too. Okay. Uh, you know what? This might also be a good opportunity to put that hinge on there. Okay. The welder is now on. Let's let's uh, plug it back in and get all the components I forgot to grab. I'm also gonna put my gyros on and. Uh, I'm gonna put overrides so that way, so that way when I'm flying around, now that I have my hinge, if I override my gyros to keep me flat, hopefully that will uh, stop me from making uh, mistakes. I mean, I don't think there's anything that's gonna stop me from making mistakes, but I can sure try. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's kind of figure this out. So. Let's uh, let's grind down one of these pipes right here, and let's uh, start putting this thing together. Yeah, maybe like right there, and then put that like that, and then. Hmm. Ah, uh, maybe. You know what? I think I'm gonna drop that that whole configuration down a little bit. So let's do this. Like that, like that, like that, and let's uh, let's uh, let's let's change these plans a little bit. So let's hop out of here. Let's uh, head up here. Okay, and let's okay, and let's just take that. Oh! <laughs> that went about as bad as it could have possibly gone. Uh, well, dang it. Dang it. Uh, this is a real bummer. Okay, well, I guess we now know what is on the to-do list. We have to fix the welding ship. I thought that I'd put the scaffolding, but I guess it didn't grab onto the sides of those conveyors. Dang, man, that really sucked. Okay, I think this is a good moment to queue up the uh, to queue up the medical room, so that way I can put it outside. Because clearly, I'm going to be spending a lot of time rebuilding the welder. Okay, so so I mean, r really, what we're talking about is I lost a I lost the cargo container, the cockpit, and both large thrusters. But other than that, I'd, and well, and the welder, and the hinge. Okay, well, like that, that. All right, well, why don't we turn this over and, uh, and then we can figure it out. All right. So luckily we still have the gyros, so okay, let's see if I can access it from here and flip it. Oh. Well. 
The answer is yes, I can. I just have to make sure that I'm in a position to stop them. There we go. <laughs> we, we have something to start with. I had to readjust the camera because it rolled so many times. Okay. You know what's funny is I'm really upset that it's super dusty right now and I'm so far away from the base, but it is better than the alternative, which would be storming because uh, because then I would get zapped by lightning because of how far away I am from the base. So I'm gonna try to get this, uh, this welded up pretty quickly. Okay, so how did this go? I wonder if I can, yeah, let's try this. Okay, so let's go to the gyros again. Okay, and let's go to the mag plate and lock. Oh, oh, that's just beautiful. Okay, all right, let's uh, heal up. Yeah, I know. Okay, this does feel like a good time for the medical room, so I'm gonna do that really fast. Okay, I'm just, for the sake of ease, I'm just gonna put it right here. Gosh dang it. I am four medical components short of having this medical room outside. Okay, okay, we can do this. We got this, no problem. All right, let's, uh, boom, boom. Let's take this. Let's drive over here. Okay, we got it. Let's avoid hitting the welding ship. Oh, you know what I should do? I wonder if I can. Or if I'm just gonna ruin everything. You know what, let's just, how about we don't ruin it? Ah, I'm just, ah, I'm gonna risk it. Gotta risk it to get the biscuit. And by biscuit, I mean not getting destroyed by the storm, just in case one shows up. Okay, so let's uh, take the wheels. Okay, and then let's, okay, let's, uh, Take that off. Unlock. Okay. That way it doesn't like freak out. And let's lock it. Ah, uh, it's working. We're doing it, Peter. We're starting to believe. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Let's just bring the welding carcass. And hold on. And park. Oh, well. Uh -huh. Could have been a <laughs> little bit more graceful. But, all things considered, that thing was on the struggle bus anyway. So, the fact that we're here, the fact that you're alive is a miracle. Alright, here, let's drop off the silver. Get the rest of our medical components. Your health is critical. Yeah, I know, just let me get my medical components. Give it to me. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're one short. Woohoo! We have one outside now. Okay, let's uh, fix up the welding ship. Okay. Let's take the gyros, and, oh, ho, ho. of course, of course there's a storm right now. <laughs> uh, this, yep, it would happen. It, you know, it's just, it's, it's almost fitting. It's like poetic, really. Uh, I hate you, planet. I hate you so much. But this little guy is pretty close to these decoys. So it would be pretty weird if that thing got struck. All right, so let's uh, let's work on this thing. Alright, let's see if I forgot anything. Hopefully I did not. Let's uh, unlock. Let's fly. Oh, I think we did. I think we forgot. 
the, uh, the forward-facing thrusters. Actually, where am I gonna put those now? Oh, I need, uh, I need more batteries. Classic dilemma. Uh, okay, well, I have an idea, actually, that I'm gonna try to add on to this thing, because I need to put more batteries on it anyway. I might as well uh, kind of switch up my tactics here, because here's the thing, I don't want this thing to uh, continue to come in here, because I, I built that landing pad for it. So, so with that landing pad, I want to set it up so that way this thing can just dock over there. Uh, and I think the best way to set that up would actually be to put the connector underneath right here. So maybe like have an extender and then put a connector right there. And then, uh, and then maybe I can add some more batteries or whatever back here. So let's do that. Put this thing over here for a second. I don't know why it's why it keeps floating downward. Pretty sure that ha that started happening when I put the when I put the hinge on it. All right, just to test this theory, I'm going to I'm gonna get rid of this welder and this hinge and see what happens. Yep. Yeah. So now I'm not I'm no longer drifting. Dang, man, that sucks. Uh, really wish that wasn't the case. That drift, like I think I've probably dealt with it before, like in just other solo playthroughs, but but on this planet, when it drifts, it really drifts quite a bit. And I already have a hard time flying this thing as is. Okay, before I take the connector off the back, I'm gonna let these batteries charge for a second. Oh. Classic, okay. Uh... <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. Oh, gosh. This is just such a sight to behold. Okay. Um... That was just, that was embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Good stuff, okay. Well, let's, uh, let's hope we don't do that again. Okay, let's set these batteries to charge for a second after that whole ordeal. And then while that's charging, I'm gonna make the new docking port for this thing. Okay, so let's uh, first start by lighting this place up. I think that'll <clears throat> that'll do for now. So let's uh, take it off, charge, turn these on, and let's connect. Okay, man, that was quite a process to get back to this point. Okay, let's uh, let's re rethink this strategy right here. Okay, let's let's do this again. So.
<laughs> oh man, this thing is intense looking. I need to beef out the center piece because I don't want it to get shot to pieces and get destroyed. Um, but I'm gonna weld all this stuff up and then, uh, and then I'll worry about beefing it up and then I'll probably, um, I'll probably find some places to put wind turbines as well. I forgot to do that, so. But I don't think it's too late. Okay, let's uh, start welding this stuff. Dang it. This is so frustrating because I put a remote control block and an antenna on it and then I crashed it and now the remote control and the antenna that I put on it broke and I didn't put a new one on. Classic. Oh man, uh, I wonder if I can put a light, like where I could put a light on this thing. Probably, yeah. I can probably put a few lights right there. Huh, just in time for a storm to come and hit. Ew, I don't think I like that red. I, I think I'm gonna change that to something not so spooky. I wanna have like red flashing warning lights like on it too. Now that's probably good. Uh, I want to put some catwalks up there. Alright, now I'm just going to sit and watch this storm for a little bit and see how, uh, how that tower does. Dang it. <laughs> I just had another really cool idea that I want to do. Man, I have a tendency to get distracted a lot. I'm realizing that about myself. All right, so here's my thought process. So my idea is, is that because there's like one block that goes all the way around, um, I want to build uh, catwalks. And so basically it would start from like down here and then I just spiral a catwalk in the center of this whole thing all the way up to the top and then on top of uh, I was already planning on putting catwalks up there I just didn't I, I was thinking maybe I'll just put a ladder but the spiraling through this tower I think is gonna be really really cool 
So, uh, so yeah, I want to do that. Uh, man. What to do with this guy? Ah. Alright, you know what I'm going to do with this guy? I think I'm going to... I don't want to grind it down because he's been with us since, like, day one. But, uh, I think I am going to get rid of, like, these back wheels and stuff like that. Keep the front part, and I'll lift... I'll airlift it out of here with my, uh, with my welding ship once it's empty and full of battery. And then, uh... And I'll airlift it and I'll probably put it on top of all of this stuff. Outcome is very cool. I need to I need to put some more lights on it, but uh, but yeah, I'm really I'm really liking this a lot. Okay, I'm gonna run through the tower, put some lights on it, and I'm gonna call this project done. Alright, that thing is pretty cool. I, I really love the way that that turned out. I'm probably, I need to come up with like a color scheme that I want to use. Like I want to paint stuff so that way it's not all just entirely uniform. But, uh, but that's, uh, that's a pretty cool tower that I really, I really like. Uh, are the guns in the most, in like 100% optimal position? Probably not. But sometimes less than optimal can still be fun. All right, I think it's time. I'm gonna grind down from the light over, and uh, and then I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna turn it into something new. Maybe maybe this rendition of this uh, of this thing will uh, will be some kind of fighter jet because it's survived so much. I want to keep the original design of this front part because it feels like it's part of the history. I think uh, before I before I rescue this guy and put him up on this platform, I think I want to get rid of this uh, the scaffolding up here because I don't want to crash into it with my uh, welding ship.
Okay, and I'm just gonna weld this up so that way it's nice. Huh. Okay, well I thought with the additional thruster I was going to be able to do to weld this, but it is clear that that is not the case, so I'm just going to go put this back. Okay, no need to time lapse me just welding steel plates. That's that's going to be pretty lame. So, I'll just I'll just skip in the video to where these are all welded up. Okay. I don't really know why these ended up being a different color, but that is okay, because I'm actually going to color all of this anyway. Let's, uh, let's put some concrete down, make it look nice and pretty. Oh yeah, that's like a much better. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go put a landing gear on the welding ship, and let's, uh, let's bring our little friend up, and then we can extend this the rest of the way. Okay, let's uh, let's hope this works. Let's hope I have the thrust to be able to lift it. I don't have anything in my inventory, right? No, I do not. Okay, and lock. Hey, no problem. Let's uh, put this guy right here. Word. Man, I really do love this tower. This thing is way cool. I want to build more of them, but they it just it took me hours to put it together. Now, I definitely think that if I was to do it again, it wouldn't take me nearly as long cuz I was kind of like built figuring it out as I was building it. But yeah, that took a while. But oh man, it would be so cool if I had like one of those over here and then like I space it out a certain distance and another one over there and then like Low. over there. Ooh, and then I could like connect like the top of them together with like a bridge of catwalks. That could be pretty sweet. Okay, all for the future though. All right, I'm gonna extend this out because uh, this is pointless to be this way. And then uh, and then I'm gonna go actually look at the to-do list and figure out all the things that I forgot to do. Alrighty, looking good. Now we have these little stairs down here. Ooh, you know what, I'm gonna put some rails right here. Because we can. <laughs> okay, apparently I was gonna put rails everywhere, but I like the way it looks. Okay, I need to find another place to put the light, but that's okay. Ooh, don't die. Okay, so let's take a look at what we did. So we built the super lightning rod full of wind turbines, check, guns, check, decoy, check, welders, check. Awesome. I built a medical room outside. Uh, I, I tried putting the hinge on the welder, but then we realized that with a subgrid on a welding ship, it starts to kind of like drift. I may have to create a vertical welder and a horizontal welder, and you know what? I might just have to be okay with that. We won't count that as done, we'll just delete it. And uh, and I need to figure out how to cue those decoys. Uh, I am going to put that back in the eventually category, because right now it's not like a huge deal. It was, that's just a nice to have. So. Well, we know one thing that we want to put on our to-dos. Rebuild ship. Yeah, I think uh, I think let's do that. Um, and I think that that's, that's the goal for the rest of this episode is, is to get that done.
so I'm just gonna make some adjustments on it. I shouldn't scrap the whole thing. I will say one thing that I did learn, I took a few hours in between to kind of figure out what I wanted to do. One thing that I did uh, figure out was I can actually change the uh, the field of view on my spectator camera. And so I think that could actually be pretty cool to give a little bit more of like a cinematic look to it. So I'm gonna try that out. Hopefully it looks good. If not, eh, then we won't do it anymore. So, like an idiot, I let my thrusters just drain the batteries, so this thing doesn't even have enough battery to, like, lift off. I'm probably gonna have to put a piston with a connector and see if I can plug it in with the way that it is, because it really, it can't move, and I don't think that the welding ship has enough thrust to be able to lift it. So that's like right in the sweet spot of where it's not helpful at all. Great. Really glad to hear it. Okay. All right, I have, I have another idea. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw another battery on there and then just use that battery as a temporary to get it to where I need it to go. Okay, I have eight minutes of battery life left. Before I take off, I'm gonna do some, some math. Okay, well, according to my spreadsheet, the eight small atmospheric thrusters right here are not enough to lift this beast. I'm gonna need a large, which is a bummer. In fact, not only will the eight not lift it, I would actually need eight more to be able to vertically lift this thing off. All right, let's make an adjustment. I think I know what I can do to get what I want. I can put my connector facing upwards and I'll just have like a, a refueling thing to give it more ammo because it will go through the this port on the side like that. And then I can put one of these large thrusters. So I'm gonna lower it down. Well, maybe I don't wanna lower it down. Let me, I'm, okay, all right, here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna change the batteries to recharge. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go grab my welding ship because my welding ship has a connector on the bottom and I can use my welding ship to charge this one. Okay, let me set my batteries on this to discharge. Yeah, so here's the thing. Like, there are aspects of this ship that I do like. Like, I, I like the overall shape. I don't like how thick it is in the center. I feel like it should be more sleek. But the issue is, is because I decided to, like, maintain that original battery, it's kind of set us up in a weird way. I mean, overall, like, even though the battery kind of made it a little bit more of a building challenge, I am still glad that we did it because it feels like once again, we recycled the same, <laughs> the same battery and like setup. So according to my thruster calculator, with the additional armor blocks that we put around the thruster and the additional thruster, it now weighs more than what I'm able to lift. So I think if I add two more of these small ones, it should, it should be able to do it. But 
it begs the question, am I going to be able to fly now with that many thrusters, 10 small thrusters and two, yeah, the, er, there's no freaking way. I'm going to have to put on more batteries. There's, there's just no, I have no faith. <laughs> yep. Mm, that's just not going to do it. Well, it's at 97. All right, hold on. Man, I just, I feel like this is such a bad idea. Oh, I just, I feel it in my bones that there is something wrong. I just, I feel like, I don't know, man. I don't know. So, let's do this then. Let's just try it. Okay. We're lifting up very, very, very slowly. Oh, there's no lights and I'm flying at night. Okay, this is just, this is death. This is, that is what this is. Slow but surely, this is death. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I missed that. Okay, all right, let's tilt it. Ah, oh, man, why am I such an idiot? Okay, let's, uh, no, I can't turn on those other thrusters because batteries won't work. <laughs> the sun will come out tomorrow. I knew that this was such, this, the sad thing is, is like, I'm, I'm just, delaying the inevitable right now it's like i'm not i'm not saving myself i know i'm going to crash it's just how bad am i going to crash you know let's just see if i can uh, okay and let's see if i oh no way oh i cannot believe i was able to do that oh oh, 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 oh. oh i'm 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 upset about how that whole thing played out, but I am happy that I was able to save it. <laughs> okay, well, I think that this is probably where we're going to cut it for this episode. I was hoping to be able to take this thing out, but clearly I am I am just bad at building. <laughs> so uh, we're going to work on fixing that thing up next time, uh, making sure that it can actually do what we want it to do. Um, I, I, the reason I didn't put wheels on it, I wanted to be able to take off vertically and then I turn off the vertical thrusters and then move horizontally. The reason I wanted to do that is just one, I thought that'd be really cool, but two, I just didn't want to repeat this, but I, I don't know what else to do with the gravity being as high as it is and like wanting to make something kind of compact. So this might just be the only option. I know people have given me suggestions to make a skid, but to be completely honest, I don't know exactly how to do that. So maybe I can like look that up. But yeah, so <laughs> so next time we'll fix that up. But I feel like we got a lot of stuff done today, despite my many shortcomings. I mean, we had a lot of issues. But yeah, anyway, we we built the medical room outside, we built the lightning rods with the wind turbines and the guns. I mean, we basically built this twice because of the first thing that happened. We got more cobalt and we also had to fix up the welding ship. And in the process of fixing the welding ship, I also uh, made that new docking port and I want to make that rotor do something cool later. But yeah, I feel like I feel like we got some stuff done. So. We'll, uh, we'll make sure to, to get that stuff done next time. So thank you so much for tuning in to No Suit Survival, and we'll catch you next time.